Away go the 600s, and it's Dean Harrison and Dan Neen who are both quick off the mark with Jamie Coward, James Cowden, and Ivan Linton tucked in behind, but it's Harrison who gets the edge as they power up toward the first turn of Balakagan. Linton looking to sneak inside, Neen on the brakes to go second. James Cowden may have been inspired by that move from Linton as they get on the power out of the turn. They go up through the gearbox on the run down to Iron Gate. Harrison will get there first. He's taking Linton along for the ride. Houghton having a think about a move on Neen, but I don't think he'll get through. He tucks back in as Jamie Coward says, thank you very much. So that didn't work for Cowton. The track's still rather damp, a few dry patches under trees and next to walls. Conditions quite tricky. Harrison hitting the brakes as his rear wheel goes light. It looks too wet for Linton to try anything risky. And he plays the sensible card into Balabeg. James Count has lost another position as he slips back a place of Balabeg and he drops another position. That looked like Hudson going past. Colin Stevenson on 45 looks quite confident in the wet. In fact, very confident as he overtakes Neen to go third. So plenty happening over the first two miles of this opening lap. He takes another position. It's Harrison from Linton with Stevenson third, Neen in fourth, then Coward and Hodson and James Cowton slipping back to seventh. So we have some top class road races on 600 super sport machines on a track that's wet and slowly drying. Riding on this classic four and a quarter mile long Balance circuit. It's across four ways. The surface looks much drier here than it does on the previous stretch. Neither Harrison nor Linton pushing as hard as normal. Dan Neen, meanwhile, into cross four ways, loses another place as Rob Hodson goes through. And that is Cowton going past as well, by the looks of things. The fastest part of the track, the run through Great Meadow. And Linton and Harrison almost side by side. They know each other so well, these two. They've raced each other many times. Not just here, but at Scarborough as well. I didn't think Linton would go for it, but he did, and it worked. Lack of adhesion flags at Castletown Corner. No one will try anything bold through here. Stevenson still in third, and they're all still fairly bunched together. Back down through the order. That one completed, and it's Ivan Linton from Dean Harrison, and here goes Harrison, he takes a long, hard look at Linton as he goes past. And is there any other road racer more confident than Dean Harrison right now? Michael Dunlop may be, but nonetheless, there is a young man enjoying his racing. I think Linton was also having a look at Harrison, and Linton will have to try again, and maybe the Kawasaki of Harrison is just a bit more top-end speed than the Kawasaki of Linton. It's also worth noting how far everyone ahead of everyone else they are as well right now. Colin Stevenson in third, but he's quite some distance back. And we are looking at a two-way fight for honours in this one. This looks to be the wettest part of the circuit right now, especially at Balabeg, which they're on their way to. Past Joey's gate, tuck in the shoulder, try not to catch the wall, and it's ride the bumps and hit the brakes. Then back on the power, and away they go. This is where most of the water seems to be. Adrian Kershaw leading this posse. Richard Car Charlton tucked in behind, followed by Mark Goodings and 82, Matt Milkreist. Linton not only focusing on the road, but on the machine up ahead of him. Try lines and wet lines across the ways and shiny patches. Nothing to be gained by trying anything bold around here. On board with Dan Neen. You would have expected to be closer to the leaders. Ah, this may be the reason why. A shake of the head. And that would appear to be that for Neen. He looks as if he'll limp back to the paddock if he can, but that is that for Dan Neen. Ivan Linton seemingly content to let Harrison pull him around the Balan circuit. Harrison has won four of the last five Super Sport races around here in recent years. Harrison's having a great year as well.
Further back down the order, Jamie Hodson just passing Riss Hardesty. Harrison looking to break the challenge of Linton as they begin the next lap. The surface looks drier here than on the back part, but still some wet patches. Linton won't be panicking just yet as long as he stays in touch with his rival. Colin Stevenson third with James Catton fourth, then it's Jamie Coward and Rob Hodson. The spray from the back of Harrison's wheel won't be much fun, and as I say that, Linton wipes his visor with his hand. There'll be a fine trail of water coming up onto his face, and it will get worse in a moment when they hit Balabeg, which is still fairly drenched. Nothing between these two, the gap remaining the same. And Linton just able to hang on in there, and perhaps wait for an opportunity to arise. Joining Dan Neen as a retirement is Adrian Harrison, brother of race leader Dean. Harrison on the approach to cross four ways with Linton still proving to be more than a nuisance in second place. Looking to gain ground on the brakes, keeping the speed up, getting better drive if he can out of the turns. Seven laps in total, still nothing between these two, and they may be saving something special for the last lap. As I mentioned earlier, they know each other so well, of course, not just around Belan, but at other circuits such as Oliver's Mount Scarborough, where they've pitted their skills against each other on numerous occasions. Stevenson still holding third, with Cowton fourth, Hodson a touch further back. Service looks to be improving as well, but the lack of adhesion flags are still out at Stadium Bend and Castletown Corner. When it's bone dry, Dean Harrison tends to turn on the style and backs his bike into this final turn. Not throwing caution to the wind, and rightly so. James Catton still can't plug that gap to Colin Stevenson. Last lap, it's now or never for Linton if he's going to pass Harrison. He's had long enough to formulate a plan, but will he get the opportunity to execute it, especially in tricky, greasy conditions like these? He's patiently followed Harrison around and waited to see if the race leader should make a mistake that he can exploit, but in the reality, they've both ridden perfectly. Third place is firmly in Colin Stevenson's hands. It's up to him to hang on to it. Well, Harrison and Linton have gone faster with each lap, which means this should be the fastest of the race on a track that is slowly improving. I'd suggest that Balabeg is too wet for Linton to chance a move, and he's not that kind of a rider, really, willing to take unnecessary risks. It is as you are as they go around. Two opportunities for Linton. Cross four ways and Castletown corner. I don't think he has the speed to get past Harrison into Stadium Bend. The track not looking too clever here, so Linton will just try and get as close as he dare to Harrison. Perhaps try and get the power on out of cross four ways. As we know, they know each other so well. Great friends on the racetrack. Plenty of respect between both of them. Linton will want good extra speed out of the corner. He won't be looking for a pass here, just too greasy. Nice and neat from both riders. So it looks like we could be on for a grandstand finish. Can Linton get close enough? Each lap they've been within two tenths of a second between each other. Stevenson, meanwhile, looking a cert for third. That would be a great result for him. Here they come. It's now or never for Linton. He'll squirt the throttle. Harrison will defend his line as Linton goes for the tight line and will try to park it. And that's what he's doing, but can he turn in time? Linton leads onto the bypass, but did he get the drive out of the turn? Harrison is right behind him. Here they go, down towards the check and flag. We're on board with Linton. It looks like Linton's going to go. Oh, Harrison's got it. Dean Harrison has pipped him right at the line.
Yeah, it's another classic battle in the careers of both Ivan Linton and Dean Harrison, and just three hundredths of a second separating them as they cross the finish line. I, I knew Ivan's the man for following, so I couldn't I couldn't break him if it's it was real greasy sliding around the whole way around, both in the same boat. Uh, he had us up the inside at the last corner, I just I swooped as wide as I could and cut back. But uh, he tried to park the bike to try and stop it from doing that, but I'd gone way too wide and just out dragged into the line to be honest. So over the moment the silicone bike's just fast, it's spot on to be honest. I think I led for a little bit of that, but then Dean got in front and I thought, right, just sit behind him and try and formulate a plan, but we was going quicker and quicker and quicker. And some stages I thought, oh, he's, he's away, but um, then I had the game plan of parking him on the last corner and hope he didn't out-drag me to the line. So I did the parking bit, OK, and got past him, but unfortunately got out-dragged, but that's racing, it's good from racing with your mates around here, obviously, um, wet or dry.